So let's get real for a second. When we talk about combating global warming, what are we talking about? We're talking about changing the weather. We're talking about changing the weather. It is, if we pull it off, it would be the biggest project mankind has ever undertaken since the Tower of Babel. We're talking about changing the weather. This is a huge scale project. What are we talking about in particular? We're talking about preventing the doubling of CO2 in the atmosphere from the pre-industrial age to the year 2050. Because the generally accepted climate science says if we go past the doubling of CO2 in the atmosphere, all the climate monsters will come out the door. And by the way, on the way to the doubling, a lot will come out. That's what we're actually, that's what all this story is about. Well, what do we have to do to actually prevent the doubling of CO2 in the atmosphere between now and 2050? Nate Lewis, a chemist at Caltech who works a lot in the solar energy field, I think is a brilliant scholar, he can summarize it, reduce it to just a couple of numbers. In the year 2000, the year 2000, sorry, in the year 2000, the world as a whole used roughly 13 terabits of electricity, of energy. That's 13 trillion watts. If we project between now and 2050, with China growing, India growing, our economy continuing to grow, by 2050, the world will use 26 terawatts of electricity. 26 trillion watts. What do we have to do if we're going to grow like that and allow China and India to grow dirty for a while till they're able to get clean? What do we actually have to do then if we want to prevent the doubling of CO2 in the atmosphere between now and 2050? Well, what Nate says we have to do, and this is within the general consensus of the climate scientists, we have to conserve as much energy as we are now using as a world. 13 trillion watts. We have to conserve that much. And we have to produce from clean, non-emitting CO2 emitting sources almost another 13 trillion watts from clean power. That is the scale of the project that we are engaged in. That, my friends, is the truly inconvenient truth. And no one, it seems to me, or very few people, have actually been talking about the scale of what we need to do. We need to produce 13 trillion watts of clean power at scale at the China price, or at what my friend Vinod Hosla calls the Chindia price, the price at which it will scale in China and India. This is a huge industrial project.